you're not getting any younger or thinner. You'll be bald in three years. Watch it, sister. Shut up. You shut up. Four hundred degrees. I'm freezing. It's August. Where were we? Household effects. Got it. No, not household effects. Music. Music. Make sure you got the music category. Have you got it? I'm not a complete idiot. Got it. CD player. You can keep it. I bought a new one. Next. Majamal. Me. Me. Absolutely not. Before me, you'd never even heard of the jazz pianist. It was part of my dowry. You never had a dowry. I did. You just didn't know about it. Then, then I get Duke Ellington. According to my list, two Dukes for me and two Errol Garners for you. If you recall, Errol Garner was mine originally. Originally? You had records like everybody else. You can have Sarah Vaughan. I hate Sarah Vaughan. I want Lena Horne. I didn't know that. All these years, I thought you liked her. I never said anything, so you assumed I liked her. The dishpan assumption. The what? I told you that. First week of Harvard Business School, they told us to never assume anything. So what's that got to do with a dishpan? The professor used it as an example to illustrate the point. A man knocks on the back door of a cottage in the woods. A woman gets out of the bathtub to answer the door. But before she opens it, she grabs a dishpan from the kitchen to cover herself. She opens the door. The man says, lady, you're assuming there's a bottom to that dishpan. Your professor was a crackpot. Lena Horn is mine. You can have Dinah Washington. Keeper. What about the drum solos? I can't find them in this box. On the list. I have them on my list. Can't you find them on your list? You know what I mean. Where are they? Ah. Oh, those drums. They, uh, disappeared. What do you mean exactly by it disappeared? That time I had the flu. I was delirious. I accidentally threw them out. I remember. Charming. Charming? I had 103 temperature and you left me alone for 15 hours. I was working, Grace. On the golf course. In the dark, Dan. You don't throw out music. Damn you, great. You throw out drum solos. My favorites. Sid, buddy, Gene. All dead. Ever hear of YouTube? It's not the same as the actual disc. I'm taking Ella. Well, then I want Frankie. According to this list, I get three Franks in it. Prison, you only get one. I want Madison Square Garden. Jesus, Gracie, get me an apartment. One apartment. Check. Let's just move this along. Benny Goodman. Me. Me. Fine. You keep Benny. I get Artie Shaw. Artie Shaw was mine originally. I I love Artie Shaw. I, I didn't know you were that into him. It reminds me of when I was a little girl. My parents one time went to see his show at Ciro's in Los Angeles. They got his autograph. I still have it. Look, this is taking way too long. Why don't I just keep this box here and then I'll give you what you want later. Or why don't you bring the box back and I can give you what you want later? You don't even listen to music. 
I do so. No, you don't. That's where we met. I remember. Cat Stevens. Sting. It was hot, and, and your eye makeup was running down your face. I wear waterproof now. That's when I knew I was going to marry you. Really? That quick? When did you know you wanted to divorce me? Ouch. You really know how to hurt a guy. I don't know why we're making such a big deal of that. We never even listen to things anyway. Music isn't things. I don't think I have room here anyway. Leave it all. I don't care, Dan. It makes no difference. What now? What about my dirty laundry? There isn't any. You sent it out. I did it myself. They're all clean. My potting gift. You didn't have to do that. Well, I did. What about my handkerchiefs? Did you iron my handkerchiefs? Did you know you have a total of 62 handkerchiefs? Don't start that. I use two, sometimes three a day. Doris just keeps buying me handkerchiefs. She keeps buying me chocolate-covered prunes. Tell your mother you don't want any more handkerchiefs and tell her I'm allergic to chocolate. You tell her. I can't even tell her we're getting a divorce. Separation. Separation. You know, they make these things now called disposable hankies. Not everyone has my problem. Habit. I can just see it now. I'm on the golf course about to close a deal with a business client and I pull out a damn pink tissue from my pocket. You could coordinate the color of the Kleenex to match your tie. You knew my problem when we got married. It's your diet. Way off. Your whole life is in 10 cardboard boxes. Not my whole life. Just the last 10 years with you. Why isn't the stuff in the basement in the list of crates? I guess we forgot, Dan. Well, I don't think I'll have room here anyway. If only marriage could be as stimulating as divorce. Separation. Well, you'll be able to write now, any time. All the time. The baby carriage in the hallway is the enemy of art. What are you talking about? We have no children. You, you're the child. Writing is hard. You have to stay focused. How can you be focused when you're sorting your husband's clothes, picking up his cleaning, matching his socks, and meeting with business clients? My mother used to call it the wifely duties, marriage. God, I sound like her. And now pretense, pretending that today isn't moving day, pretending that I haven't failed as a wife, pretending that there will be a life after this life. Life, wife, rhymes. Save it for the written page. Shit. Please don't start with that. We've been through this a million times. No, not that. Thomas Lynch. I had to go pick him up from the airport in an hour. I almost forgot. The three of us will have to go out to dinner tonight. What are you talking about? We always take him out. No. What do you mean, no? No. That is a wifely duty. I don't have to do that anymore. I'm not your wife. Or not really anyway, or soon won't be. Come on, Grace, what do I tell him? He's married, he's Catholic, with a wife and seven kids. Tell him I died. Come on, Grace, this is important. 
I'm not going to a dinner with a business associate and pretending everything is status quo. No. Quo. No. Another rhyme. Cole Porter, move over. <laughs> Come on, Grace. One last favor. What part of no do you not get? All right, all right. I get it. I'll think of something. Well, I guess I, I ought to be going. Well, we've got to finish the music, and we definitely have to finish the books. Just keep it. Just keep it all. You get it all. Just keep it. You mean it? Sure. What difference does it make? Just keep it all. That sure is a ton around in attitude. Well, I'm a really nice guy. Sometimes. You know what I'll miss the most? My flannel nightgowns. Your banana omelets. I am good with eggs. And least? What will you miss least? You cauliflower fritters. <laughs> They're a specialty. They take years to perfect. Well, kiddo, I, uh, I guess this is it. I guess so, kiddo. Wait, Dan, what about the keys? What about the keys? The keys to the apartment, front door. What about those things? Well, I don't know. I, I've never done this before. I guess I should hold on to them for the moment anyway. I think the person who's leaving is supposed to leave the keys. Maybe I'm supposed to change the locks. Am I supposed to change the locks? You don't have to do that. I'll hold on to them for the moment, in case. In case what? An emergency. You might need me. I'm six blocks away. I can be there in a flash. I'm not divorcing you to see more of you. <laughs> You're so funny today. I hope you're writing all this down. Well, I guess I'll... Yeah. At least you'll be able to finish your, your book without me around. I'm not a novelist. You write. I write plays. I'm a playwright. What I meant, you have to finish your play without me around. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Dan! <gasps> I can't breathe! I can't catch my breath! <gasps> Do this on purpose. For Grace's sake, Grace, just breathe. I can't! Look, we agreed to make one of us have to move out, and it made more sense for me to go and for you to stay there. How will I know how without you? I can't breathe! Do you have a paper bag? <laughs> now and breathe. I can't! The delay tactic. Stop it. I'm dying. You're not dying. You'll figure it out. You'll both figure it out. Look, I have to go get Lynn from the airport. I'll take him to his hotel and then I'll come back. Leave. Everyone leaves me. Oh, don't start this again. You're not. The victim. Believe in each other. This is the hardest decision I ever had to make. I never thought it would come to this. Who knows? Maybe, maybe we just need a break. Okay. Okay. Go if you're going. Go. Take the keys. Take it all. 
Call me later. Maybe I'll go with you tonight. <laughs>